Hey, are you looking for insane GFX like this, 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 or even this? Then you must join GA GFX's, one of the best GFX's shop I've ordered from so far. And trust me, I've ordered a lot of GFX. They do really good GFX's for a really good price. So make sure to check them out. It's really worth it. Now back to the main video. It's recording. All right, go on. Hey guys. <laughs> All right, guys. This is the uh, newest up-to-date volleyball academy tutorial. I'm here with Certified Eddie, and I am Tattered or Tobio in the community of VBA. So it's nice to meet you guys. I'm gonna tell Eddie everything you need to know in this back and forth, and hopefully you guys get to know everything you need to know from this. So. Yeah, let's, let's get let's straight to it. it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to know is how to spawn a ball. So just like most games in 4.2, BVL, I'm pretty sure, you just want to press G. Oh, yeah. So if you uh, just press G, yeah, it spawns the ball. But if you press G and you right-click. Oh, it goes forward. Oh. Wait, that's cool. Yeah, so you can use that, um, you can use that when you're doing your serve toss. Mm -hmm. We'll get into that. Now let's learn the basic mechanics. Bump, set, and spike. This is the good one. Alright, this is every this is everything that you need to know when you're first getting into the game. This is some little basic stuff when it's first starting. So you're probably confused at first, and you're probably left clicking quite a bit. If you figured out how to spawn a ball, you're probably a bit confused on like what you're doing. You're probably setting the ball, but at first, you're not realizing that the uh, the sets are directional. Wherever you're walking is where the set goes. Oh, wait, I'm gonna try that. Hold on. Oh yeah. So you can oh, pretty wow. much you can get away with um with any kind of decoy. Oh. Where you're looking doesn't really matter. You can it's just about your uh, usage of your WASD. Oh yeah, wait. So I can just like walk anywhere and it like goes over there. Oh, that's actually yeah. really cool. So you can like pretty much freestyle your sets. Oh God. Wait, I'm gonna try one more time. Hey, that's a dot. That is a dot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's sets. All right, the next thing you're gonna need is bumps. So with bumps, you use your mouse again, but this time you need to hold right click while charging left click. So if you spawn a ball, you can hold right click and charge left click. And that one there, yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. Let's go, let's go drills! <laughs> Here, hold on. Bit fancy with it. But yeah, this is your bump. So this is how you uh receive your serves, receive your spikes for the most part. <laughs> oh wait, I'm cool. But yeah. Whoa. Ah! Okay, there we go. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, but that's it. That's it for bumps. All right, now this is what you've been waiting for in new players. Spiking. This is the fancy one. This is the one that everyone wants to know how to do. So with spiking in this game, the first and biggest mistake that you'll find is like the order you do things. So you need to make sure that you jump before holding left click because the biggest mistake is that you charge before jumping. So now that you aren't doing that anymore, hopefully, now we can talk about power and aiming. So when you're charging, you basically just, it's good to have like a full bar because then you're powerful. But sometimes it's good to tap situationally. So that bar at the bottom there is a good indicator of how long you're charging. Now aim in this game is different from some games because you can move your mouse midair. Oh wait, yeah. Oh, so that's really that's cool. Bit, it's a bit unrealistic, but it's very fun in the competitive aspect. But uh, yeah, you can get pretty fancy and you can do what people call flicks and stuff like that. So play around with that. You can get pretty fancy with it. Okay, now that we've covered bumping, setting, and spiking, the last thing you're probably going to want to know is blocking. So just like bumping, you need to hold right click, but this time you jump. Mm. There. So if I'm, if I'm the spiker right in front of you here and I'm trying to hit you're trying to oh, man. block that. 
Yo, I got blocked. Oh, nah. Wait, hold on. Let me try again. Yes, sir. Yeah, that, that one's good. That one's good. So this one's a point for you. But if I were to try and do what I did again... Oh, my God. That's a point for me, not to you. Those of you that know volleyball, that's a block out. That's a wipe. So there's a lot of uh, mechanics in this game. And then, yes, what he's doing just now, what Eddie's doing right now, that's angle blocking. This is what everyone does in competitive, and it drives me insane. <laughs> I'll be trying to uh, wipe somebody. Here, let's try. Let's try and do a hard angle. I I'll be trying to like this. to like wipe somebody, and like, and it just lands back on my side of the court, and I'll <laughs> just like, I'll just like. I'm gonna have like a temper tantrum over these good blockers, man. <laughs> They're like too competitive. But yeah, that's how you block. Right clicking while jumping. All right, so for the diving and the sprinting, I couldn't find the footage in the three hour recording I took. So I'm just gonna explain it right on like this. So to dive, you're gonna have to press Q and to sprint, you're gonna have to press shift. So it's gonna be the little bar to the left. The blue bar is gonna be your stamina bar. So some sets you need to use sprint sometimes. So it changes the speed of it. If you press E, you can see the set types uh, brought in, brought out, medium, sprint medium, V1 and V2. These are the most basic ones. These are the most sets that people use in this game. And I'm going to show you later on with the footage how they look. So if you hold E and click the power that you want, it displays the message on the top. So if you want to call out your power or your setter wants to call a set, he's going to click E. And he's gonna click on the power or the set that he wants so the spiker or the setter knows what power is uh, the next set gonna be okay now that we got that out of the way we can talk about the menu so when you first join the game it isn't very obvious but if you press T you got this menu on the left here the dashboard now the next area we need to cover here yeah there's a lot here right oh, you're probably yeah. pretty excited if you didn't know about this yet but we need to go over settings. Okay, okay. So the first thing there at the top, I'm glad they put it at the top, but we need to go into our power settings. Mm. Oh, okay, the charges. So this, this is where it gets, yeah, this is where it gets pretty like advanced. So mm -hmm. your spike charge is probably already full. Yeah, mine is at full. Yeah, yeah. Uh, everyone's spike charge should be full when they first join the game. It's the recommended spike charge. But um, the bump and set, that's where it gets a bit tricky because it's all preference based. Like, I'm not sure what the default setting is for set and bump, but I recommend 40 for set and around like 30 for bump charge. So okay. those of you that are watching the, watching the video, I recommend 30 for bump and roughly 40 for set. You can play around with those and find what you best like, but those are like the recommended in my eyes. I'm gonna try setting a medium and you're gonna try and hit it. Cool? I bet, 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 bet. Hold on. <sighs> okay. Hey, oh. let's go. Oh my god. I might be ready to get a ring in this game already. <laughs> yeah, you should you should definitely try it. I'd love to see that. Hold on. Wait, let me bump to you. Oh yeah. Mm, there we go. Yes, sir. <laughs> so yeah, let's <laughs> viewers, let's pay attention to the um the set charge at the bottom there so you wouldn't be able to see my end but a medium is three and a half three and a half set charge there it. oh there we go i got it it's just uh, uh just before it turns red just before it turns red for those watching oh i got <laughs> it there we go so maybe you try and set me one okay okay oh god <laughs> is that it oh uh, just a, it was a bit fast so a bit higher like this? It's a little bit higher. A little bit higher? Oh wait, fuck. Wait, a little bit <laughs> higher? That's good. That's a medium. Yes, sir. Let's go. Oh my god. Setting so, in this game is hard. Wait. So yeah, practice makes perfect. Like I just I just did the rookie mistake I said not to do at the start, <laughs> but Oh god, uh, I missed it again. <laughs> let's get past that. Yeah, mm. that's good. Boom. Alright, there we go. Alright. So yeah, that's a medium for you. And now um, if you hold E again here, this is the sprinting I was talking about. You see on the left there, when you're holding E, there's the sprint medium. Mm -hmm. So this is what I was talking about where like the sprint has like a, a big help in when you're setting. So I'm gonna set you a sprint medium. It's basically just okay. a medium that's like fast. Oh man, it's faster. Yeah, I can tell. 
And if I'm closer to you here, it might even go behind the pole. Ah! Oh, rookie Not mistake. Careful. Oh, rookie yeah. mistake. <laughs> womp womp. But, yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's your sprint there. Again, holding shift when you're setting. And if you're um, the spiker, you can use your shift to catch up. Wait, so you don't need sprint necessarily, necessarily to spike the ball? No, you, you don't, just... but it's helpful. So I kind of go fast here. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's cool, that's cool. Alright, if you're holding E again, we're just going to cover these last four sets. So, um, we're going to try doing, like, a V1. Because this one's the, um... Mm -hmm. This one's a lot simpler. This is, like, one that, uh... Teammates and duos, they're getting used to the game. This one's, like, something they'll have, like, an easy time doing. So a V1, I'll just show you what it looks like first. It's where um, you just set the ball like right above your head. Oh. And so basically what it is, is a spiker that's like standing here, let's say, will basically, instead it will call it, and the spiker will just run up away from their blocker. They'll run away from their blocker and hit this V1, oh. hopefully being free. So I'll just set mm -hmm. another V1. You'll, yeah, you'll, okay, you'll give it a shot. I'll try to hit it, I'll try to hit it. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Let's say, Let's say your blocker was like kind of on the other side of the net, then uh, yeah, you would have spiked right past him, Ooh. ran away from him, and then hit it. Yeah, I like that power. Wait, can I slam down with it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, yeah, let me try, try that. One more, try. one more time. One more time. Oh, Ooh. damn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's Wait, it here. Scoring. <laughs> yeah, and then if you uh, hold E one, like I keep, I keep on saying this, but yeah, if we go back to the E calls, there's V two here. Mm -hmm. You see that? Yeah, yeah. A V2 is very similar to a V1. Basically, it's just uh, medium straight up. So this one you have to wait for. Oh. So. Oh. I have to wait for it? Yeah. Like a little more? Like. Wait, hold on. I mean, it's just a bit higher than a V1. Oh, that's harder to hit. Wait. I might be bad, though. Oh, God. Rookie mistake again. <laughs> but yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> so V2s, in my opinion, they're like the least used set in the entire game. So For if real? you're if that's the only if that's the only set you suck at hitting, you'll you'll do well. <laughs> you'll do amazing. I bet that's good to know, <laughs> man. <laughs> no, you're doing you're doing amazing. You're doing amazing. All right. Now last two calls. These are the fancy ones. That's why I saved them for last. Mm -hmm. So you'll notice um. They're, they're named kind of weird. You don't see this often. Brought in, brought out. Like, what does that even mean? And It's kind of whack. Yeah, it's kind of whack. So I'll cover that right now. So let's say let's say um, all spikers are on the outside, right? In this game, all the spikers are wing spikers. It's kind of weird. Oh, so it's, the only, it's four uh, two? The only person. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's 4-2. Okay. So we, we only have wing spikers. And so... That's why I keep on standing over here to show my spiker examples. Basically, mm -hmm. when you're doing a broad in, your character goes from spawn spot for a spiker to the inside, doing the broad in. Oh. And then when you're doing a broad out, it's the same thing, but outside. Oh, you're just, uh, okay. you're broading out, broading in. So you're just... Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I think I get it. I think I get it. So, um... The sets are a bit more difficult than the spikes, in my opinion. But you have to remember, it's all like timing. You've played sport games; it's all about mm, timing yeah. and like connecting with your teammate. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna set you a broad in, and basically you're just gonna it's similar to the V1, but you're hitting it like here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Yeah. So it's gonna be like this. Oh. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 I think I get it. You move your you move your character in. You hit it right around here. You can play around with it, but in competitive, they typically hit it right around here. Okay. It's so like, oh yeah, right, like slamming down right here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because you have to imagine your blocker is right in front of me, mm -hmm. and that you're you're broading in past him. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think I get it. I think I get it. And now, um, this is the fast one. This is like the fancy one that everyone likes to do: the broad out, saving this one for the best for last. Oh it looks like God. that. That is fast. Yeah. So this is this is like what everyone calls a quick. Oh, rookie mistake again, man. God, it's hard. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Space everyone quick. that plays the game, 
everyone that plays the game is gonna do that at least a hundred times. No, I'm kidding. I still do it. So this is the brought out. Oh, I almost Boom. got it. Almost. Boom. Oh, yeah, that's cold. Back line. That one is cold. Oh, I missed. All good. Go again. Ah, oh, I missed again. All good. I might be bad. Go again. Wow. Go. Oh, that's not far enough. That's not scoring. Oh. I mean, maybe not competitive, but yeah, this is, uh, that's a brought out. <laughs> I bet. Nah, it's all good. It's all good. It it takes a lot of practice. Everyone watching, this game, this game is a hundred percent skill based. There's no specs. There's no nothing. So, if you're playing this game for the first time, it's gonna take you a while to adapt. But yeah, there's a uh, there's there's levels and space for everybody in this game. We're looking for anyone to join. People that have good reaction time, people that don't, anybody is welcome to join this game. And there's a lot of freedom in this game. Everything from directional sets in any direction to like aiming wherever you want. Before we end this video, I just want to say that the link to the game and its Discord will be in the description if you're looking to get into it. Alright, see ya, man.